how can you have multiple values in a data validation selection over in Google Sheets? Well, a couple years ago, I made a video on solving this using AppScript. It was one of the first videos that actually prompted me to launch this channel. Here is the sheet that's kind of janky and pieced together. It opens up this sidebar over here where you select different colors, and then you can fill that into the favorite color column. And it allows this while also triggering an invalid error because it's, it knows it's only supposed to have one value over here. But it creates, it forces a comma separated value list and the app script allows that to happen. And the data validation rules allow you to be able to accept this and just show a warning instead of rejecting the values. Well, that's old school. Today, 2024, we've finally gotten this. It's, it's late August. It's finally built into our Google Sheets. So we can now do this natively inside Google Sheets. And we can also do it inside a native Google table because we now have these Google Sheets tables built into our Sheets as well. So what we're going to do, let's just go ahead and turn this into a table, convert that to a table. So we'll show you how this works inside. Uh, and it works exactly the same inside of a table as outside. I've got these drop down lists that give me my favorite colors and I'll open up the data validation rules. We are selecting drop down from a range. I've created a color range, which is just on our separate sheet and it holds all of our colors. Let me get my face out of the way there so it doesn't block anything important. Here's our list of colors and check it out. Now all we have is this simple checkbox to allow multiple selections. So I toggle that off. I select something. Oh, actually I gotta click done. Toggle it off and I can only select one item toggle it back on. And as you saw just a second ago, now we've got checkboxes. Kind of like if you're doing filtering and you can select multiple criteria, it works in the same way. So now we can inside Google Sheets natively just have this multiple data validation selection. So I'm going to fill in something on all these and then show you a few of the common things, the most common things I've been asked about in uh, my own Google Sheets throughout the year, a couple of years that I've had that other video. Mostly people wanted to count the unique values. So like right here, it would be one, two, three. This one would be two. This one would be one. Or to count the occurrence of a specific value. So if I select a color over here, it's going to count the number of occurrences that that appears. We're going to build that real quick together. It's not hard. Again, no app script is required. We're just going to piece together a few built-in functions and I'm going to delete a few rows so you can see these are the ones we're going to talk about. Uh, the first thing to note is that if we take cell E2, which is this first uh, cell right here, all it is, it's a list of comma separated values. It's no different than what we manually did over here in our previous app script powered sheet. It's just creating a comma separated list. So it's comma space between each of these values. So if we split this out, if I split E2 by a comma, if I could type correctly, by a comma and a space, then we're going to have blue, red, indigo in separate cells, right? And just check this out. If I delete the space and just use the comma, you don't want that because then you got a space in front of each of these words, red and indigo. So just to make sure it's clean, make sure you have the space in there. And now we've got our split out values, right? So in order to find the unique values, I need to count that, right? So I need to count a, count a, and if I just put it up here, it would be one. If I do it on all these, it would be three, which is the correct answer. So I need to count the split amounts, right? Split E2 by that comma space, and now I've got the correct answer. All right, let me put that up here. That's the first thing we wanted to do. That's kind of easy mode. I'm gonna control enter and that gives us the correct answers as you can see all the way down. So if I added two here, then it quickly updates that to five being the count. Okay, what if I want to count the individual colors though? I want to find all the instances of indigo and let's add another indigo right there. So I've got one, two, right? I don't have it in here, do I? No. So I've got two indigos and I want this to return two, but I want it to look through all of these. So the whole array, not just one cell. Well, as you might have guessed, that's where array formula comes into play. 
And what array formula does, I'm going to delete that real quick, is I can do the same. Well, first, let me show you what split does without it. If I try to split this whole array, E2 down to E7, and then I do my delimiter, it's going to return this value error. And it's actually going to say right there in the value error, hey, you might want to try an array formula. And yes, we do. So I'm going to cut that out. I'm going to put array formula in here. And you can see that this gives us the whole split out deal. Now, it's not very useful split out into this big array, but we're getting closer to what we can start counting. So how do we count this? Well, um, we could just take count if right now. I'm going to copy that array formula, and I'm going to say count if this range split up and then is equal to I1. Okay? So that's taking that whole range, which was down here. It's splitting it all up so it's able to, like, see every value into it. And then it's counting whether or not each of those are equal to this value up here. So let's change the value to orange, for instance, and it'll update to three. And we can very easily see in our list we've got orange in these three cells, so that's the correct count. I updated it to black. We've got a black down here and a black right there. So it's counting those values. So this is how you can count the number of occurrences of a specific value, and then over here, how you can get the unique values per cell. Hope that's helpful for you. If you'd like to see uh, anything else explained in this regard, please let me know. Again, this will work inside of uh, just a regular array or in a new Google Sheets table if you format them this way. There are a few things with the drop down list that will be grayed out when you convert it into a table. So for instance, this will say uh, that the table one favorite column is grayed out. And that is because if I were to add another row, because of the way tables works, then it's automatically going to give me my data validation down here and extend down there. So it's not going to lock into a specified fixed range, which is good. That's what we want tables to do. Anyway, I hope that's helpful for you. If you liked this project, I know you're going to like this next video on multiple condition dynamic checkboxes. A teacher reached out and asked me how to do this on LinkedIn a few weeks back. I liked the project so much that I made a video and a news article about it. And basically the premise, as you can see, is you've got the lesson log over on the left-hand side of the screen where you select stuff from data validation lists. And then based on those selections, Google Sheets automatically with built-in functions, no, go, no app script again, it will just checkbox over here the student log. So it keeps track of who's done what lessons. And it was a lot of fun to work on. Check that out next. I do tutorials like this. And I have a free newsletter that you can sign up for in the description below where every week I go over project-based Google Sheets and Excel tutorials. Hope you have a great one and goodbye.